Out there in the cold depths of space, somewhere between Mars and Jupiter, a spacecraft called Rosetta is playfully circling a comet. Scientists call this comet 67P cheryumov gerasimenko Since August, the spacecraft has been swooping in and around the four-kilometer-high comet, snapping selfies with it and taking close-ups of its craggy cliffs, crevices, and boulders. These striking images are the first to clearly show what the surface of comets can look like. They also help scientists pinpoint just the right spot for a daring operation, to set a lander down on 67P's surface. After weeks of poring over the images, mission scientists finally selected a relatively flat spot on the head of the comet. That's where their lander, Phi will settle in. But getting down to the surface won't be easy. It will require a complex set of circles around the comet and a separation at just the right point in one of those orbits. This separation is slated to take place on November 12th. That day, Rosetta will swing to within 23 kilometers of the comet and push Phi off its backside. The lander will then drift through space towards 67P. And if all goes well, it will arrive on the comet roughly seven hours later. Then, the 10 instruments aboard the robot will probe the comet from the inside out. Each instrument is designed to look at specific features of the comet, such as its internal structure and the chemical elements and molecules that make up its dust. This data, along with Rosetta's analysis of 67P, will help scientists really get a handle on what comets are and what happens to them as their orbits take them closer to the sun. A close look at the comet could also take us back in time to the beginning of the solar system. That's because comets appear to be time capsules that may have preserved some of the earliest materials found in the solar system. Looking at those pristine features may help scientists answer fundamental questions about how the planets formed, and possibly even how water and other life ingredients made their way to Earth. But first we'll have to wait for that long-sought signal saying yes, Phi has made its touchdown.